Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sanyo Disoza, Consultant Medical Oncologist at KMC Hospitals, Mangalore. I will be talking about lung cancer, its incidence, types, treatment options and regarding survival about lung cancer in this short uh, educational video. Worldwide lung cancer is commonest among all cancers and it's also the leading cause of death among all cancers. In India, it's second most cancer in males and sixth most common cancer in females and it's third most common cause of cancer related deaths in India. So the average age of diagnosis of lung cancer in India is around 54 years. It's more common in uh, males and more common among uh, smokers and that's one of the common reasons for the development of uh, lung cancer. But even non-smokers too can be diagnosed with lung cancer. So basically there are two main types of lung cancer. So what we say as non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer and that's based on histology in other words on the uh, microscopy what we uh, diagnose as. So most common is the non-small cell lung cancer that's seen in around 85% of the uh, patients. Among non-small cell lung cancer there are several uh, other types histologic types like adenocarcinoma and uh, squamous cell carcinoma and then there are other uh, subsets in this uh, group and that's based on the something called as biomarker testing. Now what is this biomarker testing? It is commonly done on the tumor tissue or sometimes on the blood sample too. So uh, examples are something like EGFR that is epidermal growth factor receptor and then ALK, ALK and then ROS, ROS and then something called as PDL1 testing. So these are all uh, common biomarkers which you commonly do in our uh, clinic on the patient uh, tumor tissue. And there are different uh, techniques or technologies how we do it like uh, commonly immunohistochemistry something called as IHC and uh, sometimes uh, PCR based testing that is polymerase chain reaction and sometimes fish based testing and uh, more recently uh, commonly available is something called as uh, NGS that is next generation sequencing. So these are the different techniques by which we get this information about whether this particular whether these biomarkers are present in a particular patient. So the commonest what uh, we see in our uh, patients with lung cancer is something called as EGFR mutation. So this is uh, seen in roughly around uh, 25 to 30 percent of our patients and uh, commonly uh, the ones who come positive for this particular mutation are those who are uh, former smokers or non-smokers uh, who are young uh, and uh, even females uh, and uh, the next common uh, mutation or rearrangement what is uh, uh, seen in our, the lung cancer patients is the ALK uh, gene rearrangements or gene fusions. These are seen in around 3 to 5 percent of our uh, lung cancer patients and once again these are also common in among those with former smokers, non-smokers or uh, young patients and uh, also among the uh, female patients. So what's more important is about uh, these biomarkers has got uh, relevance in the treatment and prognosis or in other words how, uh, how long the patient will uh, survive with their uh, disease and commonly uh, this biomarker testing we do in the stage 4 disease or you say the uh, last stage disease. So we do this uh, particular biomarker testing commonly in the stage 4 disease and then fire survival rates range from 15 to 50 percent based on the results of this biomarker testing. Patients with these mutations driven cancer can be prescribed targeted therapy. In other words, therapy which specifically targets the abnormality in the cells. So that's how uh, the difference is done by testing for these uh, biomarkers. For example, if someone gets uh, diagnosed with uh, EGFR mutation, then we give them uh, tablets or medicines uh, called osimertinib, uh, jefitinib, uh, erlotinib. So if someone gets uh, diagnosed with the ALK uh, gene rearrangements or fusions, then we uh, prescribe uh, the tablets like crezotinib, 
serotinib, uh, electinib. So basically these patients need not be on chemotherapy for their disease until the targeted therapy works on their uh, tumor and if at all uh, sometime down the line the uh, tumor stops uh, responding to this targeted therapy then we plan chemotherapy in these patients and that's how the uh, survival of uh, patients with uh, this cancer is prolonged along with uh, giving a good quality of life uh, to these patients. So uh, these days we say that uh, those with uh, EGFR positive um, uh, mutation the average survival is around 3 years and uh, for those with ALK positivity the average survival is around 4 years. So basically trying to uh, tell the fact that patients uh, diagnosed with lung cancer have got different uh, treatment options ranging from chemotherapy, targeted therapy, immunotherapy based on the biomarker testing results which has made patients with lung cancer uh, in the present days to survive long with a good quality of life. I hope this short educational video about lung cancer, its types, the biomarkers, the treatment options. Uh, was useful. Thank you.